All right, guys. Um, in today's lesson, we're starting uh, learning MB, learning MB, which is to create a dashboard using data manipulation tool. And these are the criteria that you are required to meet in order to achieve your 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 level. So we'll be looking at how to manipulate the data using different methods. So the method we're going to use for today's lesson is importing data, how to import the data into Excel. As we learn from our last learning M, we looked at the difference between data and information. Um, so how do we turn data into information? We do that by importing the data into Excel, then it becomes information. We look at that. The two keywords for today is dashboard. So what is a dashboard? We use a dashboard to display important information using visual and other methods of presentation. The best place we are familiar with in seeing a dashboard is in, in a vehicle. When we look at the dashboard of a vehicle, just by the glancing at the dashboard, we can tell how fast the vehicle is moving, how much fuel the vehicle has got in a tank and so forth. So a dashboard is just used to display just important aspects of information. Instead of reading too much text. Another key word is delimiting. Delimiting means separating. Okay. Delimiting means separating. By looking at this um, screenshot here, this is an example of data. This, we've got so much data here. We've got something that looks like a day, and then BMW and some numbers and the names there. Each of this data uh, this data has been separated using comments. So this data, this data items are delimited using comments. So delimiting is the use of one or more characters to separate one item, one data item from another. So in this case, there's only there's only one character, which is the comma, if used to, to separate the data item. So we're going to look at how to import data, which looks like this. Let me show you the data I've already, I've already, um, Told. So this is the data we're going to import. As you can see, we've got a long list of data here and it's very difficult to make any sense of this and the data has been separated the data item has been separated using semicolon here so this is what we're going to import into excel and then we see what happens so let's close this let me close this and then open up Open up the Excel. Now we have new Excel sheet. 
here. So you open up new assertion. You click on A1 at the, at the, at the top left hand corner. So, so the, the data we start importing from that corner. Yeah, if you click in, in, in the middle here, that's where you're going to start from. But you don't want that, just at the corner here, so you can use the whole sheet. Uh, so you, you click on that, they go to um, data, and then from text, then you navigate or you browse to whatever you saved in the text file. The data file. I know where I say my one, which is um. So I just navigate into wherever I saved it, and I've called it car. So I click on it and I go to import. Now it's giving me a screenshot of the file I'm trying to import. Just to just to say, is it the one you? You want to say yes, done. And now, give me option. What character has been used to separate the data item? So by looking at the data items, I know that the character is the semicolon. So I click on the semicolon, then next, finish. And then, okay. Now, as you can see, from the random data we got very uh, meaningful information here. So this is how we turn data into information. Okay. So now, how do we turn? How do we create? How do we create a dashboard from this information? Yeah. We, we, we create a dashboard using information. So there are so many information here that if you want to filter for certain uh, aspects of this information, it becomes so difficult. Yeah, that's why that we need a dashboard comes in. Yeah, that's why a dashboard comes in. So a dashboard is made up of graphs, this example of a dashboard I'm going to show you. Yeah. So this here, this dashboard, every data here comes from that raw data, which is it. Yeah. All the information, all everything here comes from here. So a dashboard is made up of graph or chart showing some major aspects in the data table. Yeah. And dashboard will also have slices, which is this button here, which give you visual tool to allow you to filter the data as required. So let's move on to look at how we create the dashboard. To create a dashboard, you go to the home button and then insert, go to insert, pivot table, go to pivot table. Once you click on it, you see that the whole data has been selected. You go to OK. Now, we need to make some selection here. What button are we going to create in our dashboard? Yeah, what button are we going to create in our dashboard? So our first button, let's say we're going to, but to create the, the button, we first of all need to create a small a table. So I'm sure you face that table is usually created using two columns. So let's say I want cars and the and the origins of the cars. 
So I, I select car and go to the bottom there and the origin go here. So now I've got small table on the left, the left here. So now we're going to use the table to create the chart. All right. So we go to option pivot chart. Yeah. So you have the option of different charts. You can choose any one you want. In this case, I'm going to choose chart. And I've got this chart here. Yeah. It's got um the origin and then and then the, the cast and our origin we have the percentage of the cast that come from this origin that's what this is sh showing here so we you, you copy this chart we select it then control C, then open new sheet. So you, you can call this new sheet new uh, new dashboard. New dashboard. Then you, you press here, you control V, you paste it. Now you can customize this chart to make it look a bit prettier. Let's give you appropriate um appropriate heading. So I've got this chart is about origin. Origin of big card and origin. Card and origin. Let's remove the legend from there. We don't want it. We remove uh, this from there. We don't need it. What else do we need that here we can remove? Okay, I think we can keep the rest of this. Yeah. So, we can, let me see. Okay. Right, we can let the rest of it. There's, there's a lot more we can do to, to customize this, make it look a bit more here. Now we got our first chart here. Now let's go back to the sheet and make another another um another um chart. So we go to insert to pivot table and then pivot table. Okay. So this time Let's go to cast and weight, cast and the weight of the car. Okay, so all the cars and the weight of the vehicle here. Then go to option, pivot chart. Again, I like the bar chart, so I'm gonna stick to the bar chart. Okay, so again, this one is the weight. Run the card and the weight. So let's call it weight. Let's call it weight. So we can copy it. Control C. We go to a dashboard. We copy this one. We put it there. And let's give it, let's remove this on the left here. Let's remove it from there. We don't want it. Remove the legend. You just want the legend there. And then, now we got two chart there. One is origin, one is weight. So how do we filter this chart? We filter it using what is called slices. So we click to create a slicer. You go to analyze, insert slicer. 
question is just like that. Now we have the option. What buttons do we want to create? Let's say, how to select card. Um, so this one will give you all the buttons. So if I click on any of this, I'll, it will show me the, the origin and the, the weight. Yeah. And then let's make another one. Slicer. Uh, new insert slicer. This time, another one. I go to weight or, or origin. The origin, I go the name. So how do we connect the button to the chart? You right click in the slicer. You go to pivot table connection. Then we select all the tables we created. We do the same to the other one, right click, and then we select all the tables, all the charts we created. So now, let's say I want to find out the, all the cards that come from USA. I click on USA, and these are the vehicles that come from USA and their weights. Now, if I click on J Japan, then all the cars that come from J Japan and their, their weight will show here. So this is how to create a dashboard, right? So remember, a dashboard is made up of graph or chart graph of chart showing some major aspects of the data table. Yeah, the major aspect of the data table. The dashboard will also have slices which give you visual tools to allow you to filter the data as required. All the data in the dashboard come from the raw data, which is, is the raw data, okay? All the, all the data comes from the, the, the raw data here. The dash, and before you create a dashboard, this is very important. You, you have to ensure that every row and every, every row, every row and every column is filled in. Yeah. Otherwise, the data will be corrupted. Yeah, everything is filled in, otherwise the data will be corrupted. All right, so if you looked at what a dashboard is, the importance of a dashboard. Why do we need dashboard? First, you've also looked at the meaning of delimiting, delimiting. You've looked at how to import data into Excel. And then you've also looked at how to create a dashboard from the imported data. Yeah. So you have your assignment in Microsoft Teams, do it and submit it by the next lesson. We go through the assignment in the next lesson before we move on to our next topic. Okay, we stop here for now. Take care, guys, and stay safe.